So I've never had a guitar that has loads and loads of different pickup configurations, you know, like out of phase, in series and splitting both of them. So I've got this amazing guitar here today. It's made by a really small guitar builder called Lucem and it's their own shape. It's amazing, this thing. I can't wait to tell you more in a second video where I'm going to go much more in depth. All I want to say today is basically... Um, this guitar has some bare pickups in, that's a 57 PAF in the neck and a 59 PAF in the bridge. And you can split each one of them. You can put them out of phase using uh, a pull knob on the bridge tone. You can pull the bridge uh, volume to split that one, the neck volume to split that one and the neck tone to put them in series. In series means you sort of add them together. So if they're not split, you basically get this sort of like two humbuckers together thing or you can split them and have two splits making basically like a humbucker or you can split one of them. The same with the out phase, you can split one and not the other. And it's just like this amazing concoction of sounds that you can come up with. Now I didn't actually think I'd find them easy to use or that useful, right? It's not something I've done, but a lot of the music I've listened to in my life, going back to the 60s sort of stuff, you know, B.B. King, his out of phase position and Peter Green, his out of phase position and Jimmy Page, his wizardry with the electronics on his um, guitar, you know, meant that actually once it's there in front of me, I sort of, sort of found myself wanting to change it whilst I'm playing against a backing track. So you're going to just see that. I tried to fit in 21 positions, I think there are. I've actually managed to fit 17, but I pretty much covered all of it. I think it actually sounds really cool and different and useful in all of them. And if I had longer in each position, I'd be able to do more with it, but um, I can't. Now, there's another knob and that's a master volume. It's also the only guitar I've ever had with a master volume. And this is more useful than I thought it was going to be because especially when you're in the middle, you can set the pickups in the way you want them, you know, balance them so that they're the sound you want and then use the master volume to make that go up and down, which I think is fantastic and uh, really allows for more building of a dynamic through a piece. Now, because I had to change through all these positions throughout this, I didn't, you know, I didn't play it exactly as I might normally in one or two or three positions, but I don't mind having all these options. It's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make another video about this guitar next week that you can see with all the details. It's really crazy, this guitar, and I love it. Um, check out Lucem's website uh, for more. Right, the rest of the video is just going to be me playing and all the pickup positions. And I can't actually even figure out which ones I missed. There's supposed to be 21 positions, so I'm being a bit dim. But anyway, I hope you enjoy hearing that. Let me know what you think down in the comments about which were the best positions or what you would use or what you think of them and how it sounds, but yeah, it's brilliant. The amp today is the Bartel Starwood, set in a very tweedy way with a bit of gain to it, but no pedals. All right, let's go for it, cheers. One, two, three. <laughs>
Thank you.